distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you very much for joining me here today for this, this short but important ceremony to unveil a commemorative stone to mark the centenary of the heroic actions of Archibald Bizet Smith, which resulted in the award of the Victoria Cross. It's, it's an honor for me to preside at this occasion and to welcome to the city so many descendants and family members of Archibald Bissett Smith to share this moment with us. We, we cannot possibly begin to imagine the fear going through the minds of all those aboard SS Itaki on this very date 100 years ago. But the bravery of the captain and crew is a matter of record, and that bravery is what we commemorate today. We've chosen this location due to the living connection between the SS Ataki, Archie Smith, and Robert Gordon's College behind me. My name is Simon Mills. I'm the head of college at Robert Gordon's College. We're celebrating Captain Archibald Bissett Smith's bravery and valour for which he was awarded the Victoria Cross. And Captain Archibald Bissett Smith was a Gordonian, and we're very proud to celebrate that as a school community. And of course, their connection to the town of Ataki in New Zealand, which is holding a commemoration as well. During the service, Fraser Cowie, a school captain at Robert Gordon's College, told us about the early life of Captain Bissett Smith and his naval career. We are here to commemorate the bravery of a sea captain during World War I who lost his life 100 years ago today. Archibald Bissett Smith was born in Cults on the 19th of December 1878. We also heard the Victoria Cross citation which was read by Peter Lowe of the Durham Association. The Durham Association is made up of former members of the New Zealand Shipping Company. For most conspicuous gallantry and devotion to duty when in command of the SS Otaki on the 10th of March 1917. The ceremony was an important occasion and descendants of Captain Bizet Smith, family members, travelled from across the UK to be with us at the ceremony. Other dignitaries and representatives of other organisations also took part. I'm Captain Chris Smith, Royal Navy. Uh, I'm the Naval Regional Commander for Scotland and Northern Ireland. As the Naval Regional Commander, uh, I'm here to represent the Royal Navy. And, and it's very important that we mustn't forget the lives of, that were lost 100 years ago. And there were so many heroic stories. Uh, my name is Neil McIntosh. I'm the New Zealand Honorary Consul for Scotland. And today I'm representing New Zealand at this very important ceremony. I'm Anne Martin. I've come up from Suffolk to, to specially come to this fantastic day and I'm a granddaughter of Archie. That's um, Archie and that is my father and this, these were put in the locket by my grandmother. It was a great honour to preside over the occasion of the unveiling of this paving stone for Captain Bissett Smith. I've been struck by the number of people who have mentioned the ceremony and the paving stone to me. And I think because of this and because of its location, people will see it and ask questions and will find out about the heroic actions of Captain Bissett Smith. 